Sarah Stafford with women's rowing. Transition was well. So this year was a little different. Um, I studied away in New Zealand for January, so I missed a whole month of swim training. Um, so I came back for two weeks and then swam in conference. Um, I took about a week off from rowing and then jumped right back into the spring season. Um, I felt pretty recovered my, with my body and definitely excited to start racing again and competing. Um, I raced in the one V this weekend. It's definitely exciting to see what we're going to be able to do for the next couple races. It was definitely a confidence booster going into these upcoming races, knowing that we have a chance to stay at the top um, of our conference in the, ranking, in the rankings. So it's definitely extra motivation to keep that spot. Well, we definitely have a shot at another conference championship. Um, so that's exciting to be able to chase that. And then again, to have the opportunity to go down to nationals, um, depending on how the bid is going. My favorite memory from last season is definitely sitting in the conference room in Olsen um, and watching or waiting to get our nationals bid. Um, it was also on my birthday last year, so it's like the best birthday present. Would you consider yourself to be a dog person or a cat person? Dog. Do you, do you have a dream dog? Um, golden Retriever. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> if you could name your dog anything, what would it be? Um, I like the name Goldie. It's kind of cheesy for a Golden Retriever, but I like the name Goldie. Yeah. Nice. Um, do you have any like pre-race rituals? Um, not really. I mean, with Swim, I have a pump-up song that I've listened to for the past, like, four years, um, and that's Remember the Name. 